Let's check it out here. It says, hey, how much did Patricia pay at checkout? So everyone, let me just go ahead and, and highlight it first. How much did Patricia pay at checkout? So if we want to know what do we want, again, it's our first step. Let's remember, when it comes to percent tax and discount word problems, you're going to have your original. Let me use a different color here. You're going to have your original. You're going to have the percent of your tax or discount. You're going to have the amount of your tax or discount. And you're also going to have your final cost, the final amount. So with that said, everybody, let's just keep that in mind. Keep these four things in mind. These are the notes that I told you to write down. Let's see what we're trying to find and see what information we have. See where all of this falls. So how much did Patricia pay at checkout, everybody? What does it sound like we're trying to find? Annalisa, yeah, you see it now, right? Yeah, we're trying to find the grand total, the final amount that you pay, right? We're looking for the final amount. How much did you pay at checkout? At checkout, meaning when you swipe your card, the final amount, or paying cash, either way, but you get it. When you swipe that card, what's the final amount? What are you being billed? Not what you see and what discounts and taxes but what you are being billed. Yes or no, does that make sense? For those of us that said differently, we are looking for the final amount. Again, pay at checkout. That is the most important thing there. We want the final cost. So the final amount. As always, my Mazvab party people, thank you for watching this video. Before we continue, just wanted to remind you that if you're struggling with the ASVAB, if you struggle with test anxiety, blanking out on problems, then you need to consider the ASVAB All Access program. Thousands of my students have tried it out and they have always raised their scores if they use it the right way because there's always a way to learn for whatever method you like best. From recorded lessons, to live classes, to guided practice videos, to printable worksheets, to speed drills to help you test and raise your confidence and speed, to casual practice that comes with video solutions. Every single way that you can think of, over 10,000 questions, all of it lined up for you, ready for you to get started right now. So at the very least, check out the link in the description so you can see exactly how it works and why again, over a thousand of my students have raised their scores with it all the way through. I'm proud of you, let's keep working hard and let's get back to the video. But don't forget, check out that program. I think you'll like it. So again, you know, you, you could have joined us an hour later. That should make sense. It should be agreeable to you that, yeah, what we're paying at checkout, that's the final cost, that's the final amount. Now we're gonna integrate that with noticing how this information fits and the formulas and all that stuff. But at least here, we should have a little bit of sense of calm, cool and collectedness. Like, okay, yeah, 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 I get it. We're looking for the final amount. I don't know how to get there, but we're looking for the final amount. So next up, let's take a look at the information that we have. So here, number two, what do we have? So let's check it out. So here it says, hey, Patricia took groceries listed at $111 to the checkout counter where she applies a 45% discount. Girl, I don't know what kind of extreme couponing this is, but she's balling, right? So yeah, she took the groceries listed at this amount to the checkout where she applied a 45% discount. I didn't make this problem. My program did that I built. So yeah, 45% discount looks great, but let's talk about what these numbers represent. What does this mean? Listed at 111. What does that mean? What does that mean? Again, from the framework of all of these here, because we know that we're looking for the final cost, but what do we have? What do we have? What is that? 111. What is that? Yeah, the original, the original. Absolutely. That right here, that represents the original cost. So we have 111. That's the starting amount. That's the that's before you apply the taxes and discounts. Then you see here, she goes to the checkout and she applied a 45% discount. So everybody, what does that 45% represent?
the discount, but what about the discount? Is that, is that the amount of the discount or the percent of the discount? It's a simple question, I know, right? But I still want you to answer. I know it's a very obvious question, but I want you to, to really say it though. That's the discount percent. So let me show you the main way to do this, but truly you could do this either way as long as you know what the numbers mean. Watch this. Since we want the final amount, everybody, since we want the final cost, check this out. To get the final cost, everybody, if we want to find the final cost, we need to apply the blank percent. Which percent are we applying? The discount percent or the final percent? If we want the final cost, what do we apply? The discount percent or the final percent? Okay, so I see where there's a gap in some of our understanding, and that's completely okay, because I'm going to show you what would happen if you did go about it that way. So watch this, everybody. Let's say, let's say, let me just erase this for a moment. I'll bring this back in a second here. Let's say we were just going to apply the 45%. Watch this. If I'm going to do, if I'm going to do 45% of the 111, remember, everybody, this 45% represents the discount percent. So that means that your answer will represent the amount of the discount. So here's what you can do if you accidentally just applied the 45% blanket and you didn't even think about it. Let me show you why that would be wrong, but you can easily fix it with one little change. Everybody, uh, what do you do? 45%, what's that going to be as a decimal? What is that going to be? Right, 0 0.45. So let me just show you what would happen here. So 0 0.45 times the 111. Let's go ahead. Let's calculate and see what that's going to be. So here, watch this. 111 times 0 0.45. 1 times 5, that's going to be 5. 1 times 5, that's going to be 5. 1 times 5, that's going to be 5. Okay, whatever. That's pretty complicated. Okay. Next up, we're going to go ahead and go to that 4 here. So we got to go ahead and put a 0 and keep multiplying. 1 times 4, that's going to be 4. 1 times 4, that's going to be 4. And then 1 times 4, that'll be 4. Add that all up together. And that's going to end up being 5, then 9, 9, and 4. So we have 49.95 because we're going to use the two decimals here that we ignored earlier to bring back 1, 2. And so we're going to have right here, boom, that's going to equal 49.95. Now, everybody, notice how the question here says that there's an answer to a C as 49.95, but however, is that the correct answer? No, nope, not the correct answer. Because what you have to understand is that you applied 45%, 45%, listen to my words, forget the numbers, ignore the numbers, seriously, pay attention, put your pencils down. Notice what I just did. I applied the percent that represents the discount. So you will get the amount that represents the discount. What are you looking for? The final cost after the discount. So what does it sound like we need to do if we calculated $49.95, the amount of the discount, not the final amount, we have the amount of the discount. What do we need to do, everybody, to get the right answer? What do we need to do? We need to subtract. We must subtract. Again, this is the amount of the discount, I told you, I warned you, right? I warned you 10 times. The percent that you apply is the amount that you'll get. You apply the percent of the discount, so now we have the amount of the discount. So now to finish this off, we need to go ahead now and take the $111 and subtract $49.95 to get the final 
amount. Because again, I'm going to highlight this for us. Original amount. This is our tax, or excuse me, our discount. And that's going to give us the final cost. Once we apply that, that's going to give us the final cost. So now let's do that. And just like this free YouTube video right here by Math40 people, I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every mistake and a free math class every week, once a week for two hours. Click the link over here to sign up and get started and keep raising that score. Let's get back to the action. We have to go ahead and borrow a lot of ones here now. So zero to get 10, 10 down to nine to one. 10 minus five is five. Nine minus nine is zero. Zero minus nine can't do that, so borrow another one. So then we have 10 minus nine is one. And then we have zero minus four can't do that. So then 10 minus four is six. So we have 6105 and that represents the final cost. And so boom, that's actually gonna be A, not C. Now notice, like, ignore the numbers. It's the ideas, it's the process here that I still need you to focus on my point of view. It's the process. You need to know what numbers you're getting in terms of what they represent. You can calculate correctly all day. A lot of y'all were excited because you saw 49.95 and you're like, yeah, coach, I did that, yeah. But that wasn't representative of what the answer should be. That wasn't representative. You have to be able to know what you're looking at, not just the numbers, but what it represents. So if you wanted to do this correctly in one step, let me show you what you would have done. What you would have done is since you're looking for the final amount, you need to apply the final percent. So here's how you would have done it in one step. To get the final cost, use final percent. So with that said, everybody, because you have a 45% discount, are going to are going to add that or subtract it to 100%. If we're applying a discount, are we adding or subtracting? Right, we're going to subtract. So I'm going to do 100% minus 45% of the discount. And that's going to give you 45% uh, taken away. That's going to be 55%. And that represents the final. This is your final percent. Final cost percentage. You are now only paying 55% of the original cost. And so there it is. You're only paying 55% of the original. Watch this. 55% of the original being 111. Let's get to work here. Everybody, 55% turns into what? 0.55. Boom. So we have 0 0.55 times 111. That's going to give us our final cost. To prove the point, here we go. 111 times 0 0.55. Oh, that's going to be pretty straightforward, right? 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 5 is 5. Plug a 0 in for this next row. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 5 is 5. Pretty straightforward. So then we're going to add it all up, and we're going to get 5. 5 plus 5 is 10, carry the 1. 5 plus 5 is 10, carry the 1 is 11. Carry the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. And we have two decimal places here. 1, 2, 1, 2. The final cost is $61.05. That's your final. And look at that. We got it done in one step. As opposed to accidentally cal calculating the discount amount, and then having to realize that we have to uh, we have to subtract the discount amount to get the final amount. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're going to get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson. And I'll see you soon.